Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank and today we are checking out firmware version 1.1 for the Sony BVM A series and the LMD A series monitors. Now the BVM is a uh, OLED technology monitor uh, with spectacular contrast, really great pictures. The A series just made it a little bit better. They have not as wide a profile and they are significantly lighter. So the A series just makes uh, a good monitor even better. And with the enhancements that we're going to see with this firmware version, you really get a great feature set to work with as well. But before we get into those uh, features, let's talk about how to get the firmware update done to your monitor. So in terms of hardware, we are going to need a PC. It's not possible to update with a Mac. You must have a PC. I have a Ethernet connection here going from my PC over to the uh, back here to the serial remote connection on the monitor. Next I went to the uh, Sony website to download the software that you need for the update. So I'm going to press my menu button and I'm going to go into my status menu first. I'm going to click, you notice how it says status one of four. So there's four windows of statuses that we can look at. I'm going to push in on the encoder and now I'm going to scroll down to the last page, page four, and you can see the model name, the serial number, and most importantly for us uh, is the software version. So right now we're at 101. We're going to update this to 1.1. So I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go down to my uh, remote window and I want to make sure that the serial remote is turned on and the type of connection that we're going to use is a LAN connection. Once you have these all checked out, you can now go ahead to the uh, software and run the firmware update. And here on my desktop is the version 1.1 update and if I open that up, you will see that I have everything in here. These are all the instructions. And it also includes the monitor update. And this is the actual program that you are going to be running to install the firmware. So first step would be to install the monitor update. I wanted to show you a close up of the program that we're going to be using to do the software update on the monitor. This is part of the free download from the Sony site. I want to establish my connection between the monitor and the program. So I'm going to go to this monitor connect, hit search, and I'm going to uh, activate the ethernet, connect. Next step in the process is here I can select what monitor uh, I am going to update and it's going to search part of the download uh, folder for the appropriate file. I'm going to click off on the PVMA250 because this is what we're going to be updating. And you'll notice that it has the information that we saw in the uh, control panel of the uh, monitor. So it's got the ID, the serial number, IP address, and again, a visual reference here as to what the current software update is. So I'm just going to select this and then I'm going to go down to the bottom of the screen and select start. Now, when you uh, go to do the start, it's already auto-recognized uh, the folder on my desktop that has the software update in it. It may open up a window asking you to point it to the folder with the software update. Here's the full view of the program. We're going to hit the start button and get the update underway and you'll have a progress bar down here showing you it, uh, where we are. It's going to take about 30 minutes for the update to take place, give or take. And the rules for doing firmware updates apply to this, of course. We want to make sure we use AC power on our laptop and we're using uh, power, wall power for the monitor. So here we go. I'm going to hit start and away we go. I power cycled the monitor and I hit the menu and the first thing I see is a select language uh, window which is encouraging. It tells me that uh, its behavior is just like it is when you take this out of the box for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and select my language as English and I'm going to open up the menu here. Let's go into our status first. 
So I'm going to scroll down to the fourth page. And sure enough, there is our identification for the monitor, the serial number, and more importantly for this, we see our version is now 1.1. So here's my screen on my A170. I have programmed some of the function buttons on the monitor just to show you what the new firmware feature sets can do. And I have a F5 feeding this right now. And I have actually two feeds, one from SDI1 and SDI3. And on function one, I've programmed the side-by-side -side function. Now, this can be really useful in a whole host of different situations. Uh, in this situation, what I've done is I've simply taken uh, the SDI 1 in with SLOG 3. And on SDI 3, I've output uh, characters, but I've also applied the 709-800% on there. So with a single camera, this is uh, an interesting option because it can show you a lutted, an unleaded picture. Uh, obviously, I think most of the time, though, we would be running multiple cameras to the same monitor. Really handy to have the option of looking at two cameras or two signals simultaneously. On this one, I have set it up so that we are seeing the camera metadata. Now, the metadata that I'm seeing here is completely controllable by the user. So if I go out of here, I'm going to go into the menu on the monitor, and I'm going to go down to the user configuration. And down at the very bottom here, you have this camera metadata setting. If I choose that, now you can see that you have a whole uh, slew of you know, eight different things that I can go in and program as I wish. So you can see a lot or a little, but being able to call that up quickly on screen again is a really nice helpful uh, application. Here I've placed a grid. This is part of the markers uh, that's now incorporated. Uh, we've had some markers before, but it's nice to have this grid system. Again, this is one of several choices that I could make. And if I go out of this grid, I can make it as a grid that fills the entire screen, or I can go into a mode that's known as a window, meaning that it has a grid and then the center section is uh, free of a grid. So perhaps you could have sort of a product placement here. Uh, this would help you with graphics or what have you. Lots of different applications make that very handy. Again, if you wanted to go in and change that, you could go into the marker settings here and we could go down to page two and here you have your full or window option. And you can also designate uh, the grid pitch. Go back to the first page. And here we have uh, aspect markers. So I can go in and change it to uh, various aspect ratios. Very nice. And there's also uh, center markers, uh, two different types of center markers we can choose from. You also have an area marker and a masking. So essentially what happens is you can, uh, let's say you want to choose to see what 239 or 235 is going to look like. If I activate the, uh, the aspect mat, it is going to put a mat above and below the frame lines for the picture. OK, so that's our grid. Uh, next, I have put on the flip horizontal and vertical, and as you can see, the image has flipped horizontally and vertically. I could go in and program this independently. In other words, I could do a horizontal flip only, or I could do a vertical flip only. Here, I've put a chroma up. This is the log, and it's adding the chroma saturation to my signal. And I put the uh, aspect ratio here, or the marker here. So I put one of the two different center markers here, and I chose to put a uh, 239 on here, just for fun. And last, uh, another feature I find really nice to have is this is the time code running off of the camera right now. So this is the time code that's feeding into the monitor or the SDI. 
And again, nice to have a time code burn-in window. There may be certain folks on set that would love to see time code off the camera. Uh, continuity folks, scripties, all those types of folks. Uh, great feature, and it's built right into the firmware. That concludes our procedures for updating the firmware on our Sony monitor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.